Okay, in this video, we're going to be showing how the performance for inference, especially on LAMA models, is going to be, we're going to be testing LAMA 2, 7 billion, 13 billion, and 70 billion parameter between the M3 Max, the max out version with 40 core CPU, uh, GPU, 16 core CPUs, and 128 gigs of memory. We have another one uh, is the M1 Pro with 16 gigs of memory, and we have an RTX 4090 on a 16 core CPU AMD, and the 4090 with 32 gigs of RAM and 24 gigs on the GPU memory. So a good comparison between these three to see what happened when we launched different models and why I jump in from my M1 Pro to the M3 Max. The reason I'm doing it and I didn't do it before is because for the first time they offered 128 gigs of memory and this is going to be uh, a huge improvement when you run inference model that they need a big amount of memory and in the GPU side you can have the same amount of memory if you have multiple GPUs but the system will be massive and for inference and testing I think that I think the M3 Max will be uh, the way to go but we're gonna see it here so what I got on my screen is the three computers I'm connecting to them via SSH on the left side here I have the M3 Max you can see here the M3 Max chips I have 16 core CPU and 128 gigs of memory on the middle one we have the M1 Pro with 10 core CPUs and 16 gigs of memory and in the la in the right side we have the RTX 4090 which has a 16 core CPU AMD and it has uh, this is a, a CPU here it's a 16 core but 32 threads and we have the Nvidia RTX 4090 and we have 32 gigs of RAM okay we type here for example Nvidia dash SMI we're gonna see that we have access to the 4090 with 350 watts running right now and 24 gigs of memory okay so we're gonna see how these three computers are gonna perform uh, when running Llama 2 uh, using Olama, which Olama is the best way to go right now because it's uh, exposed the API first of all and second thing is it would automatically use the GPU power on this machine and if the model doesn't fit on the GPU then it will go to the CPU okay so we're gonna combine all these machines now okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna do Olama run Llama 2 7 billion parameter okay so we're gonna do that it's gonna launch on three on the three computers at the same time so we're gonna see real time uh performance between the two now keep in mind that the m3 max is already recording with obs it's connected to two monitors and it's taking all this uh power for obs so it's gonna be uh usually if we don't have all that connected it's gonna be a little bit faster okay so we're gonna run something like right and it's say for the USA Revolution. So something like it's a little bit longer. We're gonna do that, press enter, and here we go. We're gonna see that the M3 Max and the 4090 they're kind of the, the same, but the M1 Pro it's a little bit slower. Now the if fit is already finished on the 4090. If finished now, probably on the M3 Max gonna finish first. Here we go. And then the M1 Pro is gonna take a little longer. Still very good performance for the M1 Pro. And as we can see here. Uh, this model fit perfectly fine on the memory on both computers, right? This model, usually the 7 billion use like uh, 4 gigs of memory. So it's going to fit fine on all of them. All right. So now we're going to close that and we're going to launch the 70, uh, the 13 billion parameter. 13 billion. Here we go. For the three computers loading. The loading part, it may be faster on the entry max because we have a, a faster combination between memory, GPU, CPU, everything is connected with the SOC. Where on the computer, it could be a bit slower, but you can see here the 49 finished first, then the entry max, and then the M1 Pro. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to run that. You're going to see here that the 4090 is uh, taking advantage right now. We have more CUDA cores, more cores on the on the 4090. But keep in mind that that's using 250, 250 to 300 watts of power compared with M M3 Max, which is using like 65 watts only. Okay. And the GPU, the M3 Max finished already and one Pro is at the end. And you can see here the M3 Max was pretty fast compared to the 4090. The difference is like a couple seconds. So not a big deal. Now that model, the 13 billion parameter was using around uh, 11 gigs of memory and that's perfectly fine. It's going to fit on the entry max on the 16 gigs and it's going to fit on the 4090, 24 gigs. So we're using 11 gigs. Now let's see what happened when we do the 70 billion and that's why 
I was switching between the M uh, to the M3 Max. So let's see what happened when we launched the Llama 70 billion parameters on each computer, and we're gonna see how it reacts. Okay, so it loads already on the 4090. That was pretty fast. And the 70 billion model probably is not gonna run on the GPU because it used 35, 37 gigs of memory, and the GPU cannot handle that, so it's gonna pass it to the CPU to handle, and that will be uh, handled by the RAM. You can see the M3 Max finish, and what's happening here on the M1 Pro, what I see here is they try to allocate all that memory that it needs is impossible because you have only 16 gigs and the whole computer is going to crash and it's going to reboot itself. I try multiple times and this is what happened every time you launch a model that you use a lot of memory. So even the 32 gigs of memory uh, Mac M1 or M2 is not going to work. Okay, so now that we have these three, these two running, we're going to write the same thing. So write an SA. Okay, we're going to run it. And you can see how, so the M1 Pro is dead already. The M3 Max, see how fast it's doing. It's actually a 70 billion parameter model. And look at the 4090. The problem you see is so slow right now is because it's running on CPU and not on GPU. If you want to run the 70 billion, you will need 35 gigs of memory, meaning that you will need two 4090s. And when you split, the model is going to be, uh, I think, slower than what I'm getting here on one on the M3 Max. You can see the M1 Pro is already dead. It's already starting. And see how slow the thing is. The M3 Max is gonna about to finish, and the 4090, it's impossible to run it. You will need at that point an A6000 ADA, and the GPU only is like $6,000. So it's way over the price of the M3 Max, which the M3 Max thinks like 45, 46, uh, 4600 compared to one ADA, 48 gigs of memory GPU, which is gonna be 6,000. And here you have 128. We're not maxing out. We can even have two of this model running on this computer, or we can have a bigger model like a Falcon a Falcon 180 billion, I think. Uh, of course, with quantization, but we can run that on the M3 Max. So it's slowing down at the end a little bit because we're running too many things at this time. And then, so you saw how fast it's already on the M3 Max and the, and the 70 billion uh, and the 4090 cannot be run, cannot run the, the 70 billion parameter. Okay, so now we're going to put a chart here when you're going to see the comparison between the three or between the M3 Max and the 4090 on the A6000. It's going to be the same performance in terms of how fast it's going to generate the, the text. It's just going to feed the models. A bigger model is going to feed on the A6000 compared to uh, uh, a 4090. Okay. All right, so yeah, you saw uh, the new performance on the entry max. If you want me to do all the tests for this particular computer, let me know in the comments below. But but I have a nice video coming up when we're gonna be when I'm gonna be uh, cloning my my grandma. Basically, I'm gonna take her a memory and voice and everything. I'm gonna clone it on an AI that I can talk to. And for this, I'm gonna be using a few things. I'm gonna be using GPT four for the response. I'm gonna be using the rack for the knowledge that she has about her her life and everything. 11 laps for the voice cloning so I can have the hair voice responding back to me and the final result is going to be uh, Omniverse audio to face. So basically I will be talking to the AI, the AI will be responding back to me uh, with motions and everything because of Nvidia Omniverse. So it's all connected together. It'll be an amazing project to watch. So keep uh, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and activate the ring bell so you don't miss that video. All right, so that was all for today and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.